Well, thankfully that's not the world we live in. It's difficult to imagine life without signals. Not just our daily routine, but our organs depend on them too. So we all know that the blood is made in the bone marrow and we know that a good hemoglobin is a sign of good health. But how does the bone marrow know how much hemoglobin to produce? Again, this is done by the kidney. Kidney senses how much hemoglobin is in the body and it makes a hormone called erythropoietin. This erythropoietin hormone tells the bone marrow how much blood to produce, provided that there is adequate substrate, there is no deficiency of iron or folic acid or vitamin B12 and then the bone marrow produces this. So once the kidney is weak, the bone marrow even if it is healthy, even if there is adequate iron stores, even if there is adequate vitamin B12 and folic acid stores, unless until the kidney signals it to produce uh, through erythropoietin, how much hemoglobin it will not know and the person develops anemia. Our kidneys have a sensing ability. When the oxygen level is low, kidneys sense hypoxia. Hence they generate a hormone called erythropoietin that stimulates production of red blood cells. Signaling by the hormones is an important function in the body. Our organs are also dependent on receiving signals from hormones to take necessary actions. There are three types of signaling in our body. Autocrine, paracrine, endocrine. The kidney has multiple endocrine roles. It creates various hormones. One of them is erythropoietin. That is an endocrine hormone. Erythropoietin signals to the bone marrow how much blood to make. Iron is a necessary nutrient, essential for hemoglobin formation, as well as vitamin B12, folate. Lack of any of these leads to reduction in RBC production and anemia. Hemoglobin levels vary amongst age groups. It is between 17 to 22 for a newborn, 15 to 20 for a one-week-old infant, 11 to 15 for a month-old child, 11 to 13 for children, 14 to 18 for an adult male, around 12 to 16 for an adult woman, 12.4 to 14.9 for an aged male, and around 11.7 to 13.8 for an aged female. Weak kidneys cannot produce adequate erythropoietin. Hence, one can develop anemia of chronic kidney disease. When the body produces new red blood cells, the cells must undergo a series of steps before they are released into the blood circulation. For a more detailed explanation, you can watch our video on how do red blood cells get produced, matured in our body. Here's what we have in store for you in our next episode. Renal anemia and its associated complications.